How can you believe in change before you see it? Well, in this video, I'm going to be answering exactly that. I'm going to be drawing out the dynamics to help you better understand what's really going on and where you can start making shifts and start believing in change before you see anything manifest in your outside world. I'm going to be sharing practical information that you can start applying right now to radically shift your perspective so you can start creating the life you really want to live. We do not get what we want, but we always can consistently get a reflection in our life of who we are being. If you watch until the end of this video, you're going to understand how you can shift that state of being before there's any proof to believe it, before there's anything in your outside world that shows you should feel that way. This video is going to help you let go of things that no longer serve you so you can start living life on your terms. So let's get started. Whatever your self-image, your self-concept is, you're going to have filtration systems that's going to find and align so that basically you find proof in your outside world and that that is true confirmation bias you have 20 to 50 million bits of information coming into your subconscious per second and those perceptions block out and filter out everything other than what aligns and what's left over that can go with those beliefs and that self-concept that means that if you have a perceptional bias for blue in this situation, you will only be able to perceive with your senses anything that's blue. Everything else you won't be able to perceive of. So even if there was abundance in your vicinity and there were situations that were near you, if there was happiness, joy, peace, consistency, or maybe it was secure loving relationship, you won't be able to see them because what you'll be able to see is what you've been conditioned for. Whatever it is, your early on environment, told you or you perceived yourself to be and whatever your experiences since then have been that's what you're going to find because you have perceptions because you do not see with your eyes this is my amazing um, drawing of a human being's head you don't see with your eyes what do you see with you see with your mind you've had events that's happened in your life that have been converted to belief something happened and you took a snapshot a meaning about yourself how you're treated and then those can lead to different assumptions so through all of these is what's in your mind and that's how you're seeing your outside environment so how can you start to believe in change? Simply start to realize, oh, I'm not actually able to see everything. I'm actually limited based on my belief system, based on my self-concept, because I'm seeing with my brain and whatever I've been conditioned to. Because even if there's something in my life right now that would show me that I'm worthy, if I don't believe I'm worthy, I'm going to block it out. Because literally that would have tension with your psycho-cybernetic mechanism, how you see and believe yourself to be that's understanding perceptions that you're getting you're filtering out the situations that you really want to experience well how do you start to see them well that's going to come right in this section right here because events have happened and you can't ever change what's happened to you however Gabor Mate says that trauma is not what happened to you right it's not the event it's what happened inside of you because of this it's this right here, this situation, what meaning, what interpretation did you put on yourself, how you're to be treated, what even you're familiar with in terms of what is normal. When you start to relate differently here, that is basically how you can start changing everything because you're going letting go of the beliefs. You're start, going to start relating differently to whatever situation happened. If you got bullied as a kid and there was a lot of mean kids at school and they said a lot of shitty stuff about you and you felt that was true and it really hurt your self-confidence and it hurt the way you were able to move in the world because you thought other people were going to judge you, realize, oh, okay, hang on. Maybe that person had a really hard upbringing at home. Maybe they were mad and they had a lot of energy and they were taking it out on me. Doesn't make it right, still shitty. However, that had nothing to do with me. That person was doing the best they could, little kid with big emotions. We're not trying to just say, oh, that's okay, I'll take your shit. That, was, that had nothing to do with my worth. That had nothing to do with my value. That had nothing to do with what other people might find value. That person was having a hard time. If it was about a caregiver growing up that was emotionally unavailable and you thought, oh, Oh, it's because I'm not worthy. If I was worthy, then they'd be emotionally available. In relating, oh, hang on a second. That person didn't have emotional space. The limitation wasn't me. The limitation was their ability to have the depth to meet the need that I had. Starting to see yourself differently in these situations will help to start dissolving these beliefs, will just start shifting your assumptions. Automatically can shift 
what you're able to see. Learning about perceptions, which is step one, learning how to relate differently from the experiences that you've gone through, which are the formation of beliefs, will allow you to start being able to perceive of different opportunities and situations happening right now in your life. So often people get stuck here. They think, how in the world can I believe that I can change when there's nothing in my outside world to show me that? I'm unworthy and I keep getting people who are showing me that they don't think I'm worthy, that they don't think I'm valuable. The thing you got to understand is that this is reality, okay? It is reflecting back to you how you see yourself to be. That doesn't mean that it's your fault if someone's being really shitty to you. That means that there's a familiarity about that. So if there's a situation happening right now where there's a lot of lack or there's a lot of rejection or abandonment, start understanding how you see yourself. I had a huge perceptional bias for abandonment, meaning that I didn't look out and see the world as it was. I saw the world with abandonment filtered glasses, and meaning that I would perceive in all these situations that come up, they're leaving. I did something. What can I do? And then I would burst into huge hero mode or I'll be the nice person or I'll go over the top to make it better because I will work hard so that they need me in their life. I would felt everyone would leave unless I did that. So I could not perceive of anything other than people are going to leave me. And in those moments, I would self-abandon. I would think I did something I'm not good enough. I would reject myself to try to get their approval, their validation, not realizing I could actually give it to myself and then see it reflected back. So if you're getting those situations, start to understand how do you really see yourself? What was your early on environment? What was that like? What is it? What is your experience when it comes to having your needs met? The more and more you start to understand the contents of this, the more you can start to change it and get that updated reflection. The change is not going to sh be out here and then you feel different. Life is a giant mirror and it is mirroring back, reflecting back to some part of you that doesn't believe you're good enough, doesn't believe you're whole and complete unless you have this specific person, doesn't believe you can have abundance unless money shows up and then you feel like you're worthy or valuable. You have to start believing it before there's anything in your outside world. So it's normal for it to not actually be reflecting back to you right now because you haven't changed that inner shift. When you do, knowing that you are the source, life is a giant mirror. Neville Goddard said, if you wanna change your circumstances, your outside world, you have to change your level of consciousness. Awareness, the light of awareness, this is a torch, the light of awareness into the parts of yourself that you're unconscious to, that you're unaware of. For me, I was unaware that I was being self-rejecting. And when I started to become aware of it and tapped into the power of neuroplasticity, which is your, ability, your brain's ability to shift and reform based on making different choices and moments, since my brain changed, it changed how I saw and therefore what I was able to see completely changed. Not because of what happened outside, but because of what I did inside. The more you start to realize that the change first happens inside and then you get a reflection on your outside world. Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about your electromagnetic signature. When you change what you believe to be true, which is going to be a huge part of your feeling, the magnetic aspect of that, and the thoughts that you send out, the thoughts you're sending out, the electrical, the magnetic part of the feelings, that unique signature is what is going to tap in to different situations out here. If it stays the same and you try to affirm over it, you try to visualize, that electromagnetic signature, that level of consciousness you have about yourself, it didn't change. So you keep getting the reflection, hoping that something changes and somebody comes along. I was hoping someone came along and basically made me feel better. And I kept looking and looking and looking, looking outside. And guess what that is? Self-abandonment. And what did I keep finding? People who are emotionally unavailable. Because guess what? I was emotionally unavailable to myself and I did not know. And when I did know, I started to make different choices and I started to really become aware of what meaning, what label was I putting on situations. Somebody didn't call me back. What meaning, what label? Somebody was gone longer than they said they were gonna be. What meaning or label? Did I say, oh no, they're leaving me. Oh, maybe there was somebody else. I started to stop doing that, becoming aware of it first and then making a new choice. Doing that gave my brain the ability to start reconfiguring, changing, 
So therefore I was able to change what I saw, ultimately shifting that dynamic completely and attracting a loving, safe, emotionally mature relationship not because it showed up and then I changed. I started being able to perceive of different situations by those moment to moment choices. The more you become aware of your perceptions, the more you start updating those old beliefs by relating differently and re-reasoning from old events. Trauma is not what happened to you. It's what happened inside of you because of that event. And that means that you can change that internal situation and the way you relate to it and free yourself from it, which will free what you're able to see see. The more and more you do this, the more changes you'll start to see reflected back because you are the source. If you need a little bit more help understanding how to change your current beliefs, this next video right here is going to break it down for you. I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you haven't done so already, join this community and I will see you on the next one.